welcome back to the drivers hub and this is one of the first events that we're attending this year this is bmw's joy town event it's an awesome event organized by bmw india so it's basically like a massive festival of music cars drifting there's everything now of course us being from tdh we're all gonna go over there for the drifting and the cars and when it comes to cars there's going to be a lot of new stuff over there everything from the bmw's m division and a lot of new car launches are happening at bmw's joy town so we're going to be attending that event it's going to be epic i hope you'll have fun because i know for sure we're going to have fun we're currently in the Tata Punch, which has been kindly lent over by the boys over at Tata Motors India because we need cars like this for our journeys. So yeah, on the way to Bandra, I'll see you there. So we've reached the venue. It's over here in Bandra MMRDA grounds. Uh, awesome location the vibe over here is amazing of course we're here for the cars so let's get through all of the new launches that have happened and some of our favorite cars over here at joy town so this over here is the latest of uh, bmw's m SUVs. This is the X5M. Comes with a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Makes 600, well over 600 bhp. Absolute monster. MX drive and everything. But over there is probably my favorite, the M5 LCI. Again, 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Makes well over 600 bhp. MX drive. You can turn off the front axle and do fat drifts in this thing. Hoping that we'll get a media car from BMW soon for this monster over here. Hands down one of my favorite cars, cars regardless if it's a supercar, hypercar or whatever, the M5 just does it all. The star of the show for me has to be the new G82 M4, hands down. I mean, controversial car, people don't like the way it looks. See it in person, it will definitely change your mind. And I mean, I'm, I'm excited to drive this car. I'm not going to be driving it today. Hopefully in the near future this year, BMW will have a media car for this thing. And best believe I'm going to be sliding it into every corner I see. S58 engine, more than 500 horsepower. I mean, this is a proper monster. I know there are more powerful cars beside this car, but I'm happy over here in the M4. Not gonna tell you too much about it. We have a dedicated video on the M4 competition coming. It's gonna be like a walk around, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, until then, I'm gonna be inside over here. So besides the M4, we have the M8. I cannot believe that we've actually driven this car. It was almost two years ago when we drove this absolute monster again, just like the M5 and the X5M. It has a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8. Sounds like a beast and yeah I really want to hop in to a proper M car again this was the only M car I've ever driven and it was directly the flagship I think so I was not that experienced in terms of that much horsepower back then but if I hop into a car like this today I think so I can do it a lot of more justice this over here is the all new S1000 double R now as you guys know I'm not that big of a bike guy but if Kiran was over here he'd be all over this bike because this new double R is lighter faster more powerful with the M Sport package which this thing I'm guessing has it weighs 193 kilos which is basically nothing and 210 bhp that's more than one to one in terms of power to weight ratio I can't imagine how insane this bike must be to ride. So this over here is the all new BMW 340i LCI. Uh, slight changes up in the front. The headlights are now kind of inverted if you notice. The bumper is completely different and uh, the this particular car has been fitted with the full M Sport uh, package. So you have a carbon front, front splitter, you have a carbon fiber rear wing and let's go ahead into the inside because there are quite a few changes inside as well. So, this is a pretty familiar place. I've driven the M340i at least five to six times. I think so a good six times I've driven it. I've driven it for more than probably 2000 kilometers. So I know this place very well, but there's one major difference. 
i drive 8 and this massive uh, screen over here which has a curve in it and it looks absolutely awesome uh the display is super crisp i love this carbon fiber the steering wheel is as is basically the same one as before yeah i'm not that excited for the new 3 series lci like i said i'm most excited for that red thing down there three cars down the line the m4 but yeah if they give this to me again i don't think i'll be saying no. BMW also launched the pair of 7s at Joytown with the new 7 series and X7. Now the X7 being more or less a refresh of some sort, we focused on the most technologically advanced BMW ever made, the new 7. Now just like all modern BMWs, the looks are quite controversial with the split headlamps up front and the massive kidney grill. But the technology integrated into this car is truly next level. You basically have screens everywhere. Up front you get a gigantic curved display which has the new iDrive 8 along with a completely new steering wheel. Come to the back, you have mini screens integrated into the door card to control various different functions like massage seats, lighting, shades, etc. And of course, how can you miss the ginormous 8K entertainment TV screen at the back? So, we're just back from showing you all of the amazing cars. Now at 2:30, there's going to be a drift show basically with the new M5 LCI and the M4. Unfortunately, since today is not the press day, I don't think that we'll be able to sit in the cars. But we're going to try and mount a GoPro for you guys, and of course, our cameras are going to be there to show you all of the amazing action. Yeah. So 2:30 drift show, stay tuned. After the amazing burnout show, it started to get a little dark, and the music started to ramp up with amazing artists like Lucky Ali performing, and this is where the vibe was set. The event had come alive with the amazing lighting complementing the breathtaking stands of the event. We started to wander around, and we totally forgot to visit BMW Motorrad stands since the event was so large. So we went to check some bikes out. Right, I think though that's it for this vlog. It's been an awesome day over here at BMW's Joy Town event in Mumbai. Behind me is this beautiful BMW R90 Option 719. Guessing a pretty rare bike and a pretty expensive one too. Yeah. Now the concert and like the musicians and everything are coming out. I think so. We're gonna take a chill pill now. Have some fun over here. Grab some food. Chill out a little bit. I hope you like this vlog. Thank you so much for BMW India for inviting to this. fantastic event i hope to see you in another video and maybe next time in the bnw m4 thank you so much for watching subscribe comment down below what you think of bnw's joy town they have one more iteration coming very very soon if i'm not wrong it's in chennai and bangalore so stay tuned for that and if you like cars if you like bmw's especially this is definitely an event that you should attend so definitely do that and i'll catch you in the next one